Hello everyone, I know you guys can hear me, so I'm talking, and I know I probably need to mute that stupid thing. Well, not mute it, because I gotta turn it off, because I was listening to something, as you can tell. I took my time, I went, you know, went to the bathroom, made myself some food. There he is! Get him! Well, not really made myself some food, I warmed up my food. Activating food combat mode. Because I was hungry. Take that! And I was like, I didn't eat all my dinner from yesterday, so I was like, maybe I'll just warm that shit up, so that way I won't have to make myself anything. Probably should set the timer. My concern is though, because I could not stop it, the timer was going off, so I'm pretty sure, well not the timer, but like the fucking, you see how it says like an hour and 30 minutes, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> Since I've only technically recorded enough for like one up, ep two episodes, it's probably only 30 minutes. Okay, so. But. The time for a whole fucking episode. Just flopping about. Where am I? I'm going backwards. Activating combat mode. Can you not, dude? Later. Conflict resolved. Oh yeah. Fire! Fire! That was weird. I use three potions. Activating combat mode. How many potions now do I have? I have seven. I would have never used. Take that. Conflict resolved. Oh yeah. Yeah, The fuck? Activating combat mode. Hot. At least they were kind enough to give me some. this uh. oh I should tell you what happened this week there's a lot of bullshit that happened this week Let's go 
Go this way. There he is. Get him. Activating combat mode. Anybody up there? No. Conflict resolved. Oh no, yeah. Not. Damn it. So I'm here. Do I go this way? Hmm. Activating combat mode. Oh. I need to get more MP before the final battle. Conflict resolved. Hey. Ah! The fuck? Activating combat mode. Well, I... This is Lazar. Enemies appear to be lurking in every corner. This fortress will not fall easily. Yeah. Just now, I was checking out a revolving wall and was jumped. Other walls may be trapped too. Stay alert. There's coming near revolving walls. Alrighty. So before we head straight to the main, there's a few other sections to ch chat. Over here. Potion. Neat. We found him. He's right there under the tower. I see him. Thirty-eight gambling unit. Charge! Activating combat mode. Help if I just fucking. Conflict resolved. New intel. Enemy troops are stationed inside the two fortress towers. I see. You don't want them tracking your position. Take out the other tower. All right. That could have been a dog. All right. Am I going the right way? 
Ça. Sneaky little pest. Treachery. Activating combat mode. Why not just? Maybe it's just me, but I would have just fucking snuck the fuck away. While they were like, "What the fuck?" Conflict resolved. Oh yeah. Take down the other tower. This is the other tower. To think one man did this much damage to us, I can no longer just sit back and watch. For what you did, your life will come to an end here. He's no match for three Wu Tai sergeants. Let's take him out. Didn't I just take out a whole? Show you the power of Wu Tai. Activating combat mode. Where am I going? Okay. Uh, ooh. No. No, but this week was pretty shit. Um, I mean, not as bad shit as last, I think, the previous week. But it still was not fun. Because, like, what was it? Troops are en route. It's over. What items? Restore some MP, AP. Restores everything. What am I looking at for the map? to a lowly group of thugs like soldier. The enemy could be lurking anywhere. Keep your eyes open. Soldier is a formidable foe. Still, to protect our homeland, we must stand against our enemies, no matter what. Even if it means our lives. In Wu-Tai, retreat is never an option. What? Retreat! Against bad odds, retreat is the best strategy! <laughs>
guess he decided to release some doggos. Hello, doggos. The fuck are you doing? Is there any place I haven't been? I guess just the main area. No, I can't use it. Fine, whatever. Go around, I guess. Oh, but yeah, um, shit. So, I believe it was Wednesday. Yeah, it was Wednesday. So. Activating combat mode. So, crappiness started Wednesday. So, I went in Wednesday, you know, and they made me leave 30 minutes early while I was, you know. And mind you, I kind of try to, like, stay on the clock as long as possible, even though we weren't going to be closed until, like, 2.30. for like you know lunch and shit so Zach, nicely done we have successfully occupied the fort i just needed you to keep their attention but <laughs> impressive you did well keep pressing forward something complete so anyway so they made me leave 30 minutes early which I was fucking pissed because I was like that's my money that I'm losing and so I ended up but I did need to leave like on time that day because I wanted to pick up um my Final Fantasy Rhythm game it's like theater rhythm theater rhythm like for curtain calls it's like the one for switch which is why I'm playing this game, because I was like, I feel like playing Final Fantasy shenanigans. So, yeah. And... So I was kind of annoyed by that. And then... Thursday! Like, what happened? I came in, like usual. Uh, that um, must be the central area. Head to the arena. So, like, I came in, like, per usual and shit. Oh, if I would've made it... Combat mode. Made it, I probably could've... Probably gotten 30 minutes so I could save it and quit. Anyway. No, but, um, what was I say? I think I might get rid of Thunder, because I just don't use it a lot, and I haven't seen any necessary need to have Thunder. Fire, maybe. I assume it's be helpful as well. Activating combat mode. Thunder really hasn't been too much of my friend, so... Um... Like... So basically, like... I was in the... I wasn't even in the break room. I was in, like, the little locker room attached to the break room. Which is in between the break... Room and the bathrooms. Because there's, like, two of them, but... Like, so I was in the women's locker room. So I was sitting down, you know, minding my own business, you know. Um, going, we'll look at that later. You know, I was, because I had just picked up the game. So I was playing the rhythm game, you know, and like going to my phone and like listening to music and, you know, I was relaxing. And I would have been in the break room, but it was too full, and so I was like, I'm not going to be super sardined. So I was in the locker room, just minding my business, and a supervisor from one of the other buildings that I worked for the company was in the, our uh, building. I don't know why, I don't care, but she was there, and I guess she was going to use the bathroom. And right as she was opening the door to the bathroom... Like, I saw a flicker of light, and the, and the manager had kind of, like, motioned for me to follow, so 
Like I went, you know, I got my stuff, you know, so I was gathered my stuff together and shit. Cause I'm not on the clock. And then I followed. And as I'm walking out towards the back, like I see everybody who was in the break room, you know, coming back and they're like, oh, it's a false alarm, you know. Apparently they tripped the alarm when they were messing with something. You know, they were fixing something or something. And I was like, oh, okay. And so everybody comes back inside. And, you know, everybody gets comfortable and so do I. And I'm, I go back into, to the locker room. You know, I'm chilling. Um, I sit down. Um, I guess that's what I'm doing right now. Um. No. The situation with Wu Tai. Uh, anyway. So. I kind of, um. You know, I'm chilling, relaxing, you know, and I'm minding my own business like I do. When. Like, all of a sudden, you know, um, earrings. Activating you know, combat mode. The supervisor from, the, like, you know, the other building again, you know, comes back into the bathroom. And as she's coming into the bathroom, I kind of noticed, like, it was really empty in the uh, office. Not all the office, but the break room. I was thinking, like, what the heck? And so I po uh, popped out a an earpiece and I had asked the supervisor a question and she had told me she, combat mode. I can't exactly remember what she told me cause like and then after like cause she went into the bathroom and when she came out she was all like oh um I think they want everybody to go out so I was like oh okay and so I got my shit you know my shit together and I gather myself Activating to leave again mode. but when I did you know I like I started walking out and as I walked out you know like I'm minding my own business like la 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 because I like because they had already said it was a false alarm and shit training hard I hope you better believe it leveled up too all right let's see the results there your data from last month all right bring it me from last month <laughs> no improvement whatsoever. Training's over. Maybe I should leave him with Sephiroth for a while. The <laughs> fuck? You're in for it now. Anyway. Prove I'll... your honor to me. <laughs> I got it. I just let this one dude be horribly assaulted. Anyway. What liar? Anyway. So. Anyway. So like the, like I walk out there and then like the fucking supervisor and the manager who are supposed to actually go fucking check to make sure everybody's out of the building. You know where they're just standing there like chilling and shit. So. Who are you? Is that Yenfei? I'm Wu Tai's greatest warrior. It's over for you because now you have to face me. Oh, this little kid. This area is not safe for you. Go on home now. You're the one going home. If you want to go any further, you're going to have to go through me. Why do they have like a little boy oh, voicing Yenfei? What am I supposed to do here? Sounds like a little boy. Oh, 
Das war. Boy, oh boy. That's a lot of energy. <laughs> Now, back to work. I am half tempted to follow her Yuffie. Should I follow Yuffie? But no. But yes. But no. But yes. Can I jump? Poo. Ah. Stop that. Anyway. But no, because like... Like, managers were out there fucking, you know, just fucking chilling and shit. Not even fucking, like, even bothering the fuck. Because they're supposed to look for, like, everybody. But nope, they didn't. And so, here I am, inside just money, my business. And then, like, when I did go outside, like, they were, like, getting mad at me. And I was just like, well, I don't care. I really didn't care. I was, and they were like, oh, well, and the manager was all like, oh, well, I walked around and told everybody to leave. And I was like, well, I didn't hear it. And mind you, they fucking wrote me up for this bullshit. You must be the anti-soldier monsters. Activating combat mode. So, but yeah, so they were like trying to be all like. Oh, well, you know, they were trying to basically blame me for the whole situation when they did not go look for me. Because as the managers and supervisors, they're supposed to check the bathrooms to make sure there's nobody there. Because we also have a desk person that works in our building. So what if they were in the bathroom and they didn't fucking, you know, are they going to let them die because they can't fucking hear? That's bullshit. They're supposed to go check. And the only reason why I knew anything was because a manager, not from our building, actually went to look around. So just because they didn't want to do their job, they, they were getting mad at me and they wrote me up for it. It was bullshit. And what was it? So that was dumb. Then, the, uh, what was it? I think it was yesterday. So yeah. I don't know if anything happened Friday. I can't remember. Um, I don't think anything happened Friday. And Saturday was dumb because just like fucking uh, Wednesday, they fucking cut me loose. Which, mind you, I didn't want to leave. But the fuckers only give a shit about their fucking paycheck. Which is bullshit. Because, like, their fucking salary. Who gives a shit? But, you know, they're those fucking um, supervisors who were dicks and stuff. And what ended up happening is they let, like, they made me leave, like, over, an, a little bit over an hour. Because it was a, a let, it was like one twenty-five when I clocked out. Mind you, or one twenty-four, one of the two, 24, 25, I think it was 24, though. Um, when I clocked out, and that was because I was fucked. I didn't clock out right away. I went to get my shit together before clocking out because I had to walk. So, like, I was fucking pissed. And, like, what pissed me off, too, he was like, oh, well, you'll, you probably will stay late anyway. And I was like, I don't always fucking stay late. And it's not like I fucking want to stay late. Oh, yeah, and also the manager was also trying to call me lazy. And, like, I don't help people. And she was bitching, like, oh, you don't come in on your days off. Because my days off are my days off, bitch. Like, I'm not paid fucking, like, like, why the fuck should I work for extra hours? My paycheck should, my, my hours, if give, allowed to work my hours, are perfectly fine enough to pay all my bills. But whatever. Anyway, we're going to end this episode here. Um, just because it, the timer did go off and I don't know how long this fight is going to be. 
so I'm going to, I would rather save the fight for the next episode, just in case. So yeah, for now, Tiny's the Chippies is signing out.